The state's current bonded indebted ratio is about 6.8% of our state budget. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means 6.7%, I'm sorry. That means that for every dollar, tax dollar, that we take into the state government in our general fund, 6.7%, 6.7 cents, less than 7 cents, supports our debt service. If this one percent, eight cents, or a little over eight cents on the dollar for every dollar we take in. I would submit to you, Mr. Speaker, and ladies and gentlemen, I don't know of anybody that has that low of a debt ratio in their individual homes. By the time you pay your car payment, your mortgage payment, your credit card bills, you're looking at probably 50 to 60 to 70 percent, 70 cents, 60 cents, 50 cents on the dollars that you take in or you earn. So it's not that we're going overboard in our debt ratios, and I think it's important to remember that. But this window of opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, won't last forever. So why is it important we do it in this session? Because I think we need this dialogue to begin, and it needs to begin in this session. In 2013, we did a remarkable thing, gentlemen from Jefferson in this chamber. We came together with our counterparts in the Senate under the direction and leadership of Governor Bashir and we passed a comprehensive pension reform overhaul with additional funding to provide for the actuarial uh, cost increases that are necessary to make it actuarially sound. And we're the only state in the nation to this date to have done that. We passed pension reforms for the system for new members coming in, but we also provided for reoccurring revenues to be dedicated. We, didn't, we can't dedicate technically, Mr. Speaker, but reoccurring revenues that would be available to fund the actuarially required contribution, or the ARC payment, as we so call it. That's pretty significant, and we did it in a short session. We can do the same thing for our teachers, ladies and gentlemen, and we ought to do the same thing for our teachers. It's a lot of money. I thought about a billion dollars. What is a billion? What does that represent? Well, think of it in these terms, and it's incredible. A billion seconds ago, it was 1957. A billion minutes ago, Jesus Christ was alive on this earth. So it is a large proposal. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a large problem because we're gonna have to pay that debt. We contracted, we promised. They relied upon that and gave us years of their lives and service to the children of our state. We owe them that debt. It's going to be paid. So does it make better sense to have comfortable inaction or does it make better sense, Mr. Speaker, to take a course of action which I believe has minimal risk only if we see another dramatic downturn in the market as we saw in years past, would this really be a risky proposal? Could that happen? Yeah, it could happen. It happened once before, but I don't think it's going to happen again and I don't think you're going to find any uh, financial advisors or consultants in America that think that we're in jeopardy as an economy of seeing that occur again.